Hey, fit like YouTube. Right, so basically, in order to know where we're going, we need to know where we've came from. And uh, what we're looking at here is my old tank, the Dual Vision 450. Um, a lot of y'all know, know this tank from a previous channel, from my old channel, Starfish 4220. Um, basically, I'm taking my time with the new build, the Black Pearl. It's taking a bit longer than I thought, um, but it's just because I'm being meticulous and methodical about how I'm wanting it to be and uh, so yeah it's taking a it's taking its time but like I said before I would rather that than rush it um, and get pissed off with, with things not being the way I wanted them to be so I'm just taking my time in regards to the plumbing, the plumbing that came with the tank, which I'll obviously I'll make a video on once I once I get all the all the, the plumbing parts I need, um, I'll make a video on the plumbing. Um, but basically, the plumbing that came with the tank uh, can only be described as shit. <laughs> basically, it's shit. Um, but I'll go more into that once I do the plumbing video. Um, what else? Yep, the sump. Uh, the sump that I got with the tank. Nothing wrong with it. Good sump. Really pleased with it. It's just not suitable for what I want to do. And it would mean a lot of modification. Which I'm not prepared to do on this size tank. So I'm actually going to take all the buffers out of this sump. Which is a four foot by 15 by 15 I think it is I'm actually going to take all the baffles out and I'm going to turn this tank into my quarantine tank and I'm just going to build or order a new sump and the new sump is going to be 60 by 18 wide by 15 high but I'll obviously do a video on that as well once I get it. I'm still kind of looking and pricing up and seeing more or less how I'm going to get this built. But I'll do a video once I get that done. So, yeah. So basically this video is just all about the plan and just to let you know. Because I know it's been a while since I did a video. And it's just basically keep you in the loop. Okay. That, uh, I'm still here. And uh, think <laughs> I realise things are taking a little longer than I, I planned. Like, But I'm going to get there. Don't panic. Videos will start coming out more rapidly once I once I get the money, once I get the parts, and once I know I'm being fussy. But you know what I mean. All good things come to those who wait. So I'm a strong believer that maybe the early bird gets the worm, but it's that second mouse that gets the cheese. And on this tank, I'm going to be that second mouse, baby. <laughs> so yeah. I um, would also like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you guys that have uh, followed me through my previous channel, have joined me for my new adventure with the Black Pearl. Much appreciated. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you very much to all the, the people that have maybe never can seen my other tank or this tank that you're looking at just now um, and have subscribed to this channel. Thank you very much. means a lot. Much appreciated. And uh, hopefully, once things start kicking off, it'll, uh, it'll get a lot more exciting. But uh, I just thought I'd uh, take this opportunity just to let you all know I'm still here. <laughs> and uh, things will kick off shortly. The Black Pearl will definitely set sail soon. In regards to the Live Rock this live rock is going to be going into the sump of my new tank and I will actually be using dead rock for the aquascape obviously I'll make sure that the dead rock cycled and uh, already before I actually transfer any of the livestock from this tank to the new tank but the reason for using dead rock is I have a specific aquascape in mind and you just kind of do it with live rock 
because of the time restrictions and workability of the live rock, meaning that around about 30 minutes you can work with out of the water. Any longer, you, you risk putting the rock into a mini cycle, and then you obviously put your fish at risk from ammonia spikes, etc. So that's not an option. And uh, the aquascape I have in mind, uh, it's going to take a while to actually pull off. So that's the reason I'm going to be using the dead rock. And uh, as this reef's going to be mainly SPS dominated, um, I'm going to take my time and get the aquascape right first time instead of faffing about with live rock and then absolutely hating it a week later and changing it. I'm going to get it the way I want it from the get go with the dead rock. So that's the plan there. Uh, equipment wise, so far I've got a protein skimmer for the, the Black Pearl. It's a Deltec TC2060, so really good skimmer. More than, more than capable of handling the uh, bio load of the, the six, six footer. Uh, I'll also probably end up using my Bubble Magnus NAC6 because um, uh, <laughs> it's a great little skimmer. I love it the bits and uh, although the Deltic will beat the pants off it, I'm still going to maybe see if I can sneak it in somewhere in the sump and use it as well. Although I doubt it'll be pulling out much because I, I reckon the, the Deltic will probably be pulling out most of the stuff like, but there we go. Um, in regards to the fish, all of the fish that you see here will be going into the Black Pearl. The only fish I've sold is uh, the two ant male, the male and the female Antheus that I had. Uh, they require feeding like four times a day and I just didn't have time for that so I thought best to sell them on. Uh, but the rest of the fish, they're all healthy, they're doing great and uh, these are all going to be going into the new tank. Uh, all these corals, I, I've decided, I think there's maybe only two of them that will actually be transferring over. The rest I'm going to get rid of. And uh, like I said, the rock will be going on the sump. Uh, so, yep, that's it. Everything else is doing fine. No problems with this tank, it's just ticking along nicely. And uh, hopefully it won't be too long before the... The, the black pearl is ready for these uh, guys to explore and enjoy. So, yep, so that's it for just now. Till next time, bye bye.